we had shown it to IBM. We showed the rough cut. We were trying to get somebody to come in to sponsor the whole thing and and alleviate some of our worries about selling it. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And IBM saw the first two hours, and this is where LeVar gets his foot. And they came back and they said, Brandon, this is wonderful. It's the best thing we've ever seen, blah, blah, blah. But it's too risky, too controversial for us. And they backed out. It's hard for you to believe now when you were talk about roots about elements of controversy, but because the world has changed so much. Um, and if we talk about the day after, we'll talk about controversy and change. Um, but Roots was, we had serious problems with Southern stations. Um, we had serious problems with concerns that there were going to be riots, that black, black people were gonna riot in, in Watts and, and all over the South. There were serious problems getting advertisers to come into it because of the, 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 the violence and some of the things that were happening to it. So the sales department didn't like it. The affiliate department didn't, affiliates didn't like it. Um, and they didn't, um, we had one other problem, which was Fred Silverman didn't like it, who was my boss. And I screened it for him and he didn't like it. And I thought, um, this is getting to be a very long day now. And um, uh, but he said, but I have an idea and I, we're gonna take it and we're gonna run it in a block. We're gonna run it between a Monday and a Saturday. Every single night we're gonna run routes and we're gonna run it in January. And as soon as he said, I, I'm gonna run it in January, I knew he was terrified of it and didn't like it and was trying to bury it because January is a, not a very important month in, in television ratings. And he, I, I guess his theory was, I'll have one bad week, get rid of the damn thing, and then we go back to business. And, um, but I thought the block was an interesting idea. Um, but. Uh, we worked very, 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 very hard on the promotion of it and, and the selling of it because um, it was going to be a tough sell. I remember being in New York and we we're coming, we we're trying to get the advertising line. I was with um, the a a agency and things like things like this happened and we're all going through advertising lines and, and ad layouts and all this stuff. And no, nothing worked and we're getting frustrated. The copywriter's getting frustrated. And, and finally there's a kid, like me, 2,000 years ago at BBDO carrying the cards and he brought them over from the, in the cab. He's a card carrier. And the kid says, um, I got an idea for the ad line. I said, what is it? And he said, um, it's the triumph of an American family. And I went, oh my God, this is the most perfect line. It is, it is roots. It is, says it in those five words. It is exactly what it is about. So we took that line and we put it on Absolutely everything, all every promotion, which gets me into another part of it. I don't know if you want to get into this yet, but when you're doing a miniseries, so much of it is about the promotion, the publicity, and the advertising because you have one night to get them in the house. They got to get in on that opening night. Then it's up to you if it's good to make it good so they'll stay for the rest of the time. But if you don't get them in the tent on the opening night, you are dead. It, you are dead, forget the rest of it, you might as well cancel it. So what we would do at a, that we developed at ABC, we developed a war room for each one of these miniseries we did. And it was 360 degrees all the way around the room. We would meet with publicity, promotion, advertising, um, and on-air people once a week, and we would break it out into 365 sections, and we would plan for something breaking on roots for a year or months in the case of uh, Roots, six months in advance. So Roots was going to show up in Popular Mechanics, something or other about axles on wagons stories on August 4th or whatever. So, and we met, we literally had a warm room and planned out every single promotion, every single eye story, every single um, photograph, black and white color. It was an unbelievable thing. We had for Roots, as well as each of the mini series, 16 to 17 different on-air ads, depending upon what we were trying to say and to what audience. Did, so, that, did that start with Roots? Yes, or, or is it started with Roots, but we developed it to a real art with Winds of War and Thornbirds. Yeah. And um, because it became so incredibly important to get those people in that front that first night. Um, but I was on Roots, I was absolutely terrified um, because where there wasn't a lot of support going on on the network 
we, we, you know, we were selling it to Orville Redenbacher, you know, that's, he, he came in and he bought some stuff for popcorn and um, I think a tire company bought some things to sell some tires and, and um, but we did not remotely sell out. Um, the opening uh, salvo was a Time Magazine review by Richard Sheckler, which was this big. It was two inches, and it said um, this was middle, middle, uh, middle brow mandingo was the cut line, which was not a happy moment for me. And, and so that day, I'm going down. I mean, things are not looking real good. And we were going down because it's Roots Day in L.A., whatever that key to L.A. Roots, whatever, something that we are promoting, anything to get a little space to, somewhere. And riding back with Alex in the car, and Sunday night is coming up, opening night, and I said, uh, he turned to me and said, Brandon, how do you think it's going to do? And I said, well, I think, it, I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to do, like, in those days, a 32, 33 share. And he said, I think you're wrong. I said, what do you mean? He said, Brandon, I think it's going to go right through the roof. I don't think you know what you have.